Okay, welcome to Four Years From Now. For those of you who are just joining us, we're in the Banco Sabadell Agora chat room. This is a place for intimate and honest discussions to learn about some, uh, some international entrepreneur um, ventures. Today, right now, we're here with Softonic founder and CEO, Thomas Tiago, and he's gonna give us a little bit about our, uh, our story here of uh, one of Barcelona's favorite success stories. Thanks for the introduction. Yeah. Good morning. Well, who, who knows of Tanik? Who knows of Tanik? One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so around 50 people, 50 people and the rest, they come just to discover what is of Tanik and, and how it became a, a global success. Can you raise the volume, please? Hello, hola, okay. Uh, okay, let's, let's start. For those who don't, who don't know Softonic, Softonic is the, the European company with the highest global, global online audience in Europe. So of all the European companies based in Europe, uh, we have the highest audience in the internet. So what is Softonic? Softonic is the biggest software guide in the world and we cover all the software platforms available uh, at the moment in the market. So we, we have uh, thousands of Windows applications, Mac applications, iOS applications, Android applications, which are reviewed uh, by, our, by our, our expert editors. And we offer this, this content and this service in, in 10 different languages. Oh, okay. Uh, we are the top 35 internet property worldwide. Okay, so number one as a European company and uh, number 35 worldwide. And we have uh, 125 million visitors per month, uh, generating uh, 300 million visits and more than 750 million page views per month. If we, these visitors, 125 are for PC, in mobile we have around 40, 40 million visits. So we are in PC and we are in mobile. We are a multi-platform company. I'm trying to explain you what I learned during my process. Softonic is a 17 years old company, 17 years old, years old company, and we have grown from one employee, is myself. I started uh, the project uh, as an end of the year college project. I did it inside a company. And now we are more than 400 employees. So what happened uh, during this process? Some of the things I learned I, I would like to share with you. Well, the first learning is that uh, when I was young, I'm, not, when I'm, almost, I'm almost young now because uh, I am below 40, so I can, I can say that I'm still, I'm still young. But when I was very, very young, uh, my 15s, I was a computer geek. And by that time, there were not, there, there were not so many computer geeks in, the, in my in high school. Uh, actually, there were only three out of maybe 1,000. So was, I was a little bit uh, rara avis. I was a bit strange. But still, I managed to, to get respect from the people. Uh, so don't, don't try to be very strange. It's OK to be different, uh, but try to be respected, because otherwise you will suffer. So don't be ashamed if you are different. I think this is a good thing. But don't forget that you need the respect from the people in order to, to be able to not be influenced negatively or in order to influence them. Number two learning is that uh, I fail. I fail uh, in some of the things I did. I started studying computing, computer engineering. And, and after the first year of computer engineering, I had to leave because I didn't pass enough subjects. Uh, so it was a big failure for me. So what, why? Why is that? Because I didn't have the university as my number one focus. I was doing too many things. I was doing different things. I had my own projects. And university was something that I just had to do, but I didn't, I didn't feel like doing it. It was a bit boring. So I ended up um, changing the university. I had to go to a different university. I was rejected after my first year in computer engineering. Shit happens. But I'm happy, I mean, I'm happy that it happened because uh, I could not stop doing what I was doing. Uh, what I was doing at home was the, the, the seed of what Softonic is today. I was working with my computer. I was uh, discovering new software around the world. 
I was excited with other things. And number three is about focus. You have heard about focus. The reality is that focus is very important. It's more important to say no than to say yes. And why is that? Uh, because you have a number, a limited number of minutes in your life. Your life is limited. The resources are limited. The money is limited. Everything is limited. So, so you have to focus in order to be able to, to create a really great service, a really great company. Focus is very important. Say no more, more often and, and say yes very few times. Uh, what I learned outside of my of the, of the school and university was was more important than, than ever. I was I, I learned by myself. I start I started uh, learning uh, programming uh, at home, buying books from Amazon. By that time, uh, it, it, it was 1997. Java was the, the hot language, uh, the programming language. And I, I learned by, by reading, and uh, I created Softonic using Java by that time. Uh, so did I learn that at the school? No. Actually, nobody was teaching Java by that time. So I had to be a pioneer, pioneer uh, buy books uh, from Amazon in the US, and, and be able to, to learn what I needed to learn in order to create an innovative service. And I don't believe in luck. Uh, I think luck is when opportunity meets with preparation. So you have to be prepared, prepare yourself, and search for the opportunity. Actually, opportunities don't come. You have to search for, for the opportunities. You have to, to say, if you, want, if you try to achieve something, tell it to everyone. This is like trying to quit smoking. You say that you are going to stop smoking, then uh, it's very likely that you will end up smoking. It's like a compromise uh, that you do to yourself. If you, if you say to everyone that you're going to do something, you, you get a compromise, you, you, are, you, you get committed, and at the same time, other people can help you achieve your dream. So, so pr prepare and, of course, uh, promote, promote what you are trying to do. And then it's very likely that you will be lucky. But it was not luck. It was not luck. Uh, when I started, I mean, uh, as you can imagine, uh, being a computer geek at uh, the age of uh, 15, and then even on the age of 21, I was still a computer geek. Um, I thought that I was smarter than most people, because uh, most people they didn't know how to work with computers. Um, that that led to some problems at the beginning. When I started the company, um, I tried to to be perceived as the smartest in the room. Uh, but that's not a good thing. What you have to try to achieve is to, is to be a, a good leader, not the smartest one. So it's important to, that you have pride, but don't let your ego destroy you, because you won't be seen as a leader if you're trying to, to be always the smartest one in, your, in the room. Uh, but have pride, of course, because pride will make you uh, overcome any difficulties that you have. And money is not so important. The reality is you need money to, to start a company, but you will need passion to engage employees. So you need to pay salaries, of course. Uh, you want the company to earn money, but to create a successful company, you need uh, to have a mission, a mission that can influence all the employees who will engage all the, all the employees. And it's curious how is the mission is important for employees. To be honest, I, uh, I, I'm really shocked about uh, the importance of the mission that, that, that has in the company. If you don't have a mission in your company, create it, please create it, because it's just one sentence, and it's going to change how, they com how the employees see the company. Because they won't, they won't think that the company is only made to, to make money. They will think that actually the company has a mission, which is to improve people's lives somehow. And this is what really engages a lot of people, not only the salary. Uh, when you know, when, when you start, you have, you have almost nothing. You only have a dream, you have maybe a mock-up, you have something, uh, the first version of the product. Um, and it's very difficult to, to hire employees. So how do you do it? Um, how do you hire the first employees? Basically by, by hiring some of your friends. 
Otherwise, how do you convince them to, to join the company? It's like, a, it's, it's crazy. Uh, but, so I think friends are really, really useful at the beginning uh, to, for when a company starts. But there's a time when, when friends cannot maybe scale. They are, as the company grows, it's possible that they don't feel very well, they don't fit in the company. And you may end up uh, having to, to agree with them that it's better for, for them to go. That's possible. So it's, I think, uh, as the company grows, you need to evolve, uh, the team needs to evolve, um, and you, you might have to say goodbye to some of your friends. If you're, if you're looking to raise money, uh, you better target a big market, which is growing. Otherwise, it's very difficult that you will be able, you will be able to create a, a big company. Of course, you can create a niche, a very s small niche, and you can be a leader. But that's not going to be a really big company a company who, who is able to attract top talent in the, in the war. Uh, so I really recommend that uh, whenever, whatever you think, uh, think about the market. What is the market size? Is it growing? Is it going, going to grow? And the answer is yes. Then, then that, that's a re really good signal that you are in the, in the right direction. Uh, Softonic is targeting 1.5 billion PCs in the war and more than 1 million, is 1 million smartphones in the war and 400 million tablets in the world now available. When I started, there were, no, uh, there were maybe half a million PCs in the world, there were no smartphones, and there were no tablets. Look at how the market has grown. Thanks to this growth, uh, Softonic has been able to grow. Oops. Sometimes I, I heard people saying, you have a good idea, you had, what idea, what, what a great idea you had. Wow, Softonic, what a great idea. Come on, it's not the idea that really counts. <laughs> I mean, actually, the, the idea is not original. When I started Softonic, I, I wanted to create a, a really great service for the Spanish community, for, the, for, for people in Spain, for people in Latin America. The service was available in English, uh, and it was created by an American company, who by that time was the number one in the world. Now we are number one in the world. Uh, but it was not original. So what really matters is uh, the, the, the execution and the strategy. And in order to, to do a proper execution, of course, you need to have proper employees. But forget about the idea. It's not so important. We live in turbulent times. Uh, there is not a year where you don't feel that the company might run into problems. And after seven years, it has been like this all the years. You might run into problems. Uh, there, is lot, there are lots of competitors, lots of inno innovation happening. Innovation is happening faster than ever. So if you don't have the drive to improve all the time, if you feel that you are the number one in the world and it's going to be, con and it's going to be like this forever, maybe, if you, if you feel relaxed, then you will, have, you will turn into problems. So drive to improve, very important. This is what I learned. Oops. Um, yeah, you, you might have heard about products, no? Of course, the product is more important than marketing. Well, depend, depends on how you see marketing. Uh, product is inside marketing. But if you create a good product, uh, is it enough? Of course, it's, it is essential. Companies start with a great product. But sometimes, it's not enough. Maybe if you're lucky, maybe you, you, uh, you will get attention from the, from the public uh, that and your product will be going to be maybe shown in a TV, uh, maybe it's going to spread like hell via word of mouth, but it's very unlikely. It's very unlikely that your product, if you don't have a marketing plan, it's very unlikely that your product will be, will be known. So, so don't forget about the marketing. So if you had a great really, really product, how are you going to, to market it? How is people going to discover your, your product? Oops. Uh, in terms of leadership, there is no single leader who can be good at everything. Uh, so maybe you are more creative, uh, but then maybe less organized. Maybe you are more uh, ambitious, and, uh, but then you cannot be so conservative. But the reality is that the companies need different profiles in, in the leadership team. 
So think about your, your colleagues. Who is going to help you lead the company? You alone, it's very, it's very sad to do it alone. <laughs> it's, it's better to, to have uh, a team, uh, an executive team, uh, who can help you overcome your, uh, your difficulties, and the way to change the way you see things. Uh, so, it's, so think about people who can be complementary to you, and also, of course, compatible, because otherwise there will be a fight. So compatible people who can complement you. That's really important for the success. And last but not least, people. Companies are made of people, people like you. And, and this is the essential of any company. This is, it is the, the ingredient that differentiates success of successful companies from not successful companies. Everything that we do is made by, by people. So don't forget uh, about the people you have, uh, because it's not only essential for, for your company, but it will help you uh, make better decisions. You can use collective intelligence to help you drive the company. It's not, it's not only about the executive team. It's about all, how, can all, how, how can all the employees uh, help you to find the best way to proceed. They can, find you, they can help you to define a new strategy. And if they are engaged, then it's very likely that they're going to, to help you uh, and, and not be so dependent on the, on the top level of the company. And I will say, now, now it's time to go for it. Whatever dream you have, go for it, but don't forget what I learned. Uh, hopefully, I, will, I can influence some of your dreams and, and create more success. Thank you.